I cannot stop thinking of you. From the mornings you ease to the evenings you quiet to the dreams you inhabit, my thoughts of you never end. I am yours. I have always been yours. Sounds familiar? Yes, the Bridgerton family is coming back, and Benedict's story will finally be under the spotlight. So stay with us until the end, as we have some great news to share with you. Recap Dearest gentle viewers, the Bridgerton siblings are back, and the second season set up the story for the next one to come. And let me tell you something, the third season won't be the last one as well. We can't say for certain, but if season 3 follows the guidance of the previous season, then we can speculate with confidence. The first two seasons followed Julia Quinn's novels in dutiful order, sharing with us in the stories the Viscount Who Loved Me and The Duke and I. But then again, talking to Entertainment Tonight, Shonda Rhimes said, we're not necessarily going in order, but we are going to be seeing each one of the siblings and their stories. The fans took this as a direct nod that Benedict won't be up next. But what's to stop the show from going off script? We know that the show is not completely tied to the books, but we hope that Benedict won't have to wait his turn again. Before we continue with the news that we have to share with you, let's jump into the previous stories for a second and make a short recap. Bridgerton's siblings lost their father around 10 years before the first season started. The story starts with the beginning of the new social season in London, and all the single people are looking for love. We follow the Bridgertons, one of the most well-to-do families in England, blessed with many kids. This year was time for the oldest daughter, Daphne, to come out into society as a debutante. To make the whole social season even more exciting, there is a new gossip paper in the city, written anonymously by Lady Whistledown, who has a most scathing wit. For now, she has only good things to say about Daphne Bridgerton, who, the queen herself, named as the incomparable of the season. A lot of suitors show up on her doorstep, but none of them were suitable enough. So she enlists Simon, the Duke of Hastings, her older brother's rakish friend, to pretend to be her suitor. And that's how she'll be protected from Burr Brooks creeping. We must admit, that was a good plan, but we could smell real feelings developing pretty soon. I love all of you, even the parts that you believe are too dark and too shameful. Every scar, every flaw, every imperfection, I love you. And yes, the Duke will stay the most memorable person from both seasons. The second part had large shoes to fill. After the huge success that the first season had, Knowing that we won't see Duke of Hastings in the second story, nobody believed that Bridgerton 2 would reach that high. The story in this part follows Viscount Anthony Bridgerton's quest for a Viscountess. Anthony wasn't looking for true love, just a suitable woman who will be watching after the house and be a good mother. The second season kicks off with the arrival of Edwina and Kate coming to Mayfair in search of a husband. Edwina is the new Daphne in this season and she is declared the diamond of the season. Kate knows that Anthony is not a guy who is looking for love, and she spends most of the season fighting him off and pushing her sister toward other suitors who will give her the love she deserves. Talking to The Hollywood Reporter, the showrunner Chris Van Dusen said, I think that's because there's just so much conflict of mind between Anthony and Kate, and they have this banter that is just so much fun to watch, and Jonathan and Simons are so good at it. Release date the third season may come out earlier than expected. We got a little bit creative, so we're already hard at work writing season three, said Rhymes. And even the actress Nicola Collin gave a hint as to when the show is set to start shooting. Collin said that her summer plans will most likely be taken over due to her filming schedule. Therefore, if everything goes to plan, we might expect the new season to arrive in summer 2023. The official release date hasn't been announced as of yet. The record-breaking show will return for the fourth season as well. And if we follow Shonda Rhimes' words, we have a lot more to see. There are eight Bridgerton siblings. And as far as I'm concerned, there are eight Bridgerton seasons, she said for Global TV. Cast It seems like the third season will be bucking the curve, with both Simone Ashley as Kate and Jonathan Bailey as Anthony, so there won't be another precedent for characters leaving after their main series. Kate and Anthony are just getting started. We're going to be back, said Ashley for Deadline. And she added that this story is still at the beginning. Queen Charlotte is suggesting that we should take the structure of a romance novel as a serious clue. If you get another one, you're going to get two different main characters, but you'll have the same supporting cast. And this might transform Anthony and Kate into supporting characters. 
most of the Bridgerton actors will hit that like button if you haven't done so already. No, really, most of the actors are pretty much guaranteed to return. We know that. So there will be more of Luke Thompson, Phoebe Dynavor, Claudia Jesse, and Luke Newton. Caritha Atrandrum might get some airtime since her character is said to be around next social season. Chris Van Dusen will still be involved as a producer, but the new situation might see Jess Brownwell take over. Plot details This season is probably the biggest mystery so far. The whole fan community is keeping their lips sealed on what might happen next. We know that the show is based on Julia Quinn's best-selling novels, eight books following the Bridgerton siblings as they find love. But are we going to see Benedict in the spotlight this time? Netflix has covered the first two books, so if we go in that order, the next one should be An Offer from a Gentleman, a story about Benedict and Miss Sophie Beckett. In this Cinderella-style story, he meets Sophie, and at the annual Bridgerton Ball, they fall for one another during a magical dance. She'll disappear after midnight, and he'll have to track her down. Sounds familiar? The books would indicate that the next one up is Benedict, but we don't know that for sure because the show is the show, and the show has a license to do all sorts of things," said actor Luke Thompson. And that's right, we might see some changes in this one. Even Rhymes said the show won't necessarily go in order, but we'll definitely see each sibling's love story. And after these statements, there's certainly reason to believe that Colin and Newton and Penelope Featherington and Colin Bridgerton's characters are up next. After all, the second season made a solid ground for these characters more than for Benedict's romantic future. We'll also have a Penelope's Lady Whistledown having to keep her identity under wraps with Eloise now knowing. With Eloise no longer being her friend or owing her any loyalty, the secret could be revealed to the wider group, which would be extremely interesting and damaging for Penelope. We know that although we thought Lady Whistledown was finished in season 2, we saw her pick up the ink in the finale and claim that she could not be silenced. So her words would definitely be causing some damage in the new season. There is a lot of room to explore in season 3 of the show. So whether the story will be focused on Colin or Benedict's story, it will definitely be exciting. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the expected plot? Do you think that the third season will reach its expectations? What do you think about the cast list? Which characters that haven't been mentioned should appear? And what are your suggestions? If you like the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Oh, <laughs>